شهد الفريق محمود حجازي رئيس أركان حرب القوات المسلحة حفل ختام عدد من الدورات الدراسية التي تم تنفيذها داخل المنشآت التعليمية بالقوات المسلحة وضم الدارسين وافدين من عدد من الدول الإفريقية الصديقة والشقيقة وألقى اللواء أركان حرب أحمد وصفي رئيس هيئة تدريب القوات المسلحة كلمة استعرض فيها أنشطة ومجالات التعاون في الإعداد والتأهيل للدارسين الوافدين من الدول الإفريقية الصديقة والشقيقة وذلك بالتنسيق مع الوكالة المصرية للشراكة من أجل التنمية التابعة لوزارة الخارجية أعقبه عرض فيلم تسجيلي تضمن مراحل الإعداد والتنفيذ للدورة بدءا من استقبال الدارسين ومرورا بالموضوعات التخصصية التي تم التدريب عليها نظريا وعمليا بالمنشآت التعليمية والتدريبية داخل القوات المسلحة وقدم أقدم الدارسين الوافدين الشكر للقوات المسلحة المصرية لما لمسوه من رعاية واهتمام واكتسابهم الكثير من العلوم والخبرات الحديثة التي تعينهم على الوفاء بمهامهم في خدمة شعوبهم وأوطانهم Lieutenant General Mahmoud Igazi, our commanders and honorable guests. First of all, on my behalf and the behalf of all my colleagues here, I deeply congratulate all the Egyptian people for Sinai liberation feast which took place two weeks ago. And also, I really thank and appreciate the Egyptian force armed for the support, for the training, the knowledge, experiences, generosity, and hospitality they always give us during our day spent here in the command unit. We always feel as we are in our second home here in Egypt. We are very proud, very proud to have been trained here in Egypt by an, Afri an African country by African for Africans. We are proud of Africa. We are very proud of Egypt. To all my colleagues of international counterterrorism, the three months spent here in the command unit were not very easy at all. We enjoy being away from our families, away from our friends, from our family in general, bearing to training and difficult exercise. At the end, we gain patience, tolerance, knowledge, experience, and now, we are going to go back to our countries. The course is finished, but for us, it is a great challenge in front of us. The challenge is now to go and prepare our soldier to help our commanders, to help our country to fight against black, international terrorism, especially in the case of Central Africa, particularly in Cameroon, the country who is facing the phenomenon of Boko Haram, who kills people, kills Muslims, kills Christians, they don't belong to any country, they don't belong to any religions. We will not forget Egypt. We will not forget all what Egypt teach us here in the command unit. Please, General, 
Let me finish my word with a salutation of the head of state of Egypt, all the people of Egypt, and the armed forces. Long life to Africa, long life to Egypt, peace and mercy be upon you. Shukran. كلمة السيد ريتشارد موانزا رئيس اتحاد الإذاعة والتلفزيون في دولة زامبيا. جنرال هاجازيز، جنرال أماد واسيف، أمبassador دكتور فاني، سكرتير جنرال إيجيبشن أجنسي of partnership development، your excellencies ambassadors. Senior military officials, distinguished invited guests, fellow journalists from African countries, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all protocol observed. First, I would like to congratulate the graduating officers. My advice to the graduation, graduating officers is that we as journalists, our arms are pens and cameras. And so we are partners in development. We are partners in defending our countries. We are partners in, de in de defending Africa. And so it is very, very important for us to work together journalists and the military. I wish to thank the government of Egypt for allowing us to meet as journalists to share experiences and learn from the agency. The first, the first week has been an excellent blend of information and sightseeing. Egypt has a very rich history, but it is not known even by some countries in Africa. So it is our role as journalists to bring out this very rich culture. We are delighted that a proposal has been muted to come up with an information hub that will report on African affairs, important matters that affect Africa. And we hope that this will be supported by all well-meaning Africans. We are looking forward to a very fruitful program as we move on into the week, and that will strengthen bilateral and multilateral friendship between our great countries. We want to appreciate the renewing effort by the, the Egyptian Agency for Development. And we hope that this will continue to facilitate the very important information. In this world of information overload, in this world of scarce skills in information mining, this gesture has come at the right time, and we thank you very much. Allow me, ladies and gentlemen, to just share with you survival strategies for Africans to overcome outside influence. I come from Zambia, where villagers live together with lions. Lions have strategies. If a lioness wants to provoke and attack a human being, it will normally place its cubs along the road and hide somewhere waiting for it to pounce on the human being. But villagers have realized this strategy 
and they'll take a decoy and go somewhere else. Living among lions can be very fatal and very difficult. So the, lion, the lesson from this is that as Africans, especially journalists, we should always have a step ahead of our enemies. We should be able to mine information and share that information as Africans. The Egyptian Agency for Partnership for Development has come at a time, as I said, where we need to unite, where we need to share information. Development can be looked at in different ways. A story is told of a man who lost a needle in his house, and the house was dark. He decided that he could look for the needle outside the house. And when his friend asked him, Why, what are you looking for? His response was, I lost my needle in the house, but it is dark. And so I came outside where there is light to look for that needle. I suppose we Africans in a dark continent will not go out to Europe to look for the needles because the needle is right here in Egypt. And we want to thank the Egyptian uh, agency for spearheading this initiative that Africa is a very rich continent. Africa has all the wealth we need and Africa has African solutions. With those few remarks, allow me, ladies and gentlemen, to take this opportunity to say one or two things. As journalists, we are partners in development. And so seek the audience of the head of state of Egypt, if possible, or seek the audience of the Ministry of Defense, if possible, or seek the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, if possible, so that as we amalgamate African experiences as journalists, will be able to interact at the highest office. With these few remarks, I would like to say lastly, African answers are within Africa. And let us not take, let's not look outside Africa for African solutions. Long live Egypt, long live Africa, Long live African countries. Thank you very much. من جانبه أشاد الأمين العام لوكالة شراكة من أجل التنمية السفير حازم فهمي على أهمية التعاون المثمر مع القوات المسلحة في تعزيز الجهود المصرية لدعم شعوب ودول القارة الإفريقية في العديد من المجالات وأكد رئيس الأركان على عمق علاقات الشراكة والتعاون العسكري التي تربط القوات المسلحة المصرية ونظائرها بكافة الدول الافريقية الشقيقة لدرء المخاطر ومواجهة التحديات التي تهدد الامن القومي الافريقي والمصري مؤكدا حرص مصر على تنسيق الجهود والعمل المشترك لمواجهة التطرف والارهاب الذي يهدد الاستقرار والتنمية لشعوب القارة الافريقية واشار الى ان القوات المسلحة كانت وستظل ترحب بالتعاون وتبادل الخبرات في كافة المجالات مع الدول الصديقة والشقيقة بما يدعم اثراء الخبرات العسكرية والمدنية حتى نتمكن من خلال التعاون والتنسيق المشترك من التصدي لما يهدد امننا القومي في قارتنا الافريقية العريقة وفي نهاية الاحتفال قام الفريق محمود حجازي بتوزيع شهادات التخرج على الوافدين الافارقة معربا عن اعتزازه وتقديره بادائهم الدراسي والعلمي وتفانيهم في اداء واجباتهم طوال فترة دراستهم بمصر حضر الاحتفال عدد من قادة القوات المسلحة والشرطة المدنية وعدد من السفراء والملحقين العسكريين الافارقة وعدد من الاعلاميين والكتاب ورؤساء تحرير الصحف الافريقية الاوسع انتشارا